Are you with the HHS? What have you personally done to reduce this $65 million deficit? For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. So before a budget committee meeting or some kind of a budget session, you can see quite a few parent bureaucrats from the Department of Health and Human Services lined up or ready to presumably uh, try and maintain or increase their budgets, but we'll find out when I ask more. Are you at the HHS? Yes. Question for you. Uh, what spending cuts will you be advocating today to bring down this $65 million deficit? That would be at the commissioner level. I'm sorry. I, I would rather have you talk to Commissioner Myers about that. What have you done personally to bring down spending at that department? I, I am not authorized to speak for the department. I'd like you to speak to Commissioner Myers. All right. Take care. Are you with the HHS? I am. What have you personally done to reduce this $65 million deficit? Mr. Valancourt, how are you doing? Are you at the HHS? No, I'm not. What are you here to lobby for or against? I'm just here to see what's going on. Oh, okay. All right. Thanks. Are you with DHHS? What, yes, I am. A uh, question for you. What have you personally done to help bring down this $65 million deficit? We have done several things at the department. We have looked to freeze our spending wherever we could. So any discretionary spending for travel, equipment, miscellaneous uh, operational expenses. We've worked really hard on trimming all of those and keeping positions vacant wherever we can. Okay. Uh, has the budget ever gone down? Yes. I think like from year to year? I think we have looked at our spending and we've tried to stay within our areas. Are you the commissioner? No, I'm not. All right. Thanks for the answers. You're welcome. Take care. Are you at the HHS? No. Uh, are, you, are you on the, uh, what is it called, the committee, commission spending thingy? No. Okay, all right, thanks. Is the public actually allowed to walk in there and, 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 and speak out against uh, their funding, or does it have to happen in a different meeting? Not in this, yeah, not in this one. So public can't speak, but bureaucrats can speak? Because it's, it's a hearing for their budgets. I see. Yeah, but so there, we're, there we're is listening, a we're listening to them tell us about their budget, so it's not really a public, well, it's a public hearing, but it's not a public hearing. If I want to speak against their spending, where do I go and when? Um, there's a public hearing. We'll have a public hearing for that, and we'll come up in a little bit. I see. So that there's always that opportunity. Fair enough. But these guys right now are just presenting to the, to the uh, committee itself. Okay. Thanks for the answers. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Take care. Okay, so that nice state rep, he came back up to me later and he said, actually, he may be wrong. It may be possible for folks to speak at the end of, uh, of these finance sessions. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. <laughs> That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to... LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.